I know the prices of the Samsung Galaxy S23, the S23 Plus and the S23 Ultra. This and more in today's episode. Hello and welcome to a fresh new video of Daily Fiber. I'm your host Aman Rajat and before we get on with the rest of the episode, consider hitting that red subscribe button for detailed tech videos and also turn on the bell so that you don't miss any of our latest updates. With that said, let's get started. The Galaxy S23 series launch is fast approaching and by now we know a lot about the upcoming smartphones uh, courtesy of the leaks and rumors. Now the latest bit suggests uh, that uh, the pricing of the Galaxy S23 series could be the same as the last year models uh, that is the S22 series. So according to the leaked information via an official uh, Verizon document the Galaxy S23 could start at $799, the S23 Plus could start at $999, while the S23 Ultra could start at $1,099, which is pretty much in line with the prices of the S23 series when the phones launched last year. So, of course, uh, could these prices be replicated for the Indian market as well? We don't know as of now. But I mean, whenever Samsung launches their flagship smartphones in India, the prices are usually, you know, 3000 rupees more than the previous models for the newer models, of course. So could that be replicated for India? We don't know as of now, but yeah, let's be hopeful. Netflix is about to roll out stricter password sharing rules by the end of quarter one 2023. This means that if you have been sharing your password outside, like with people outside of your household, then those people will now have to pay an extra amount. So according to Netflix's latest earning report, it says that uh, we expect to roll out uh, paid sharing more broadly later in quarter one of 2023. We anticipate that this will result in a very different quarterly paid net ad pattern in 2023 with paid net ads likely to be greater in quarter two 2023 than in quarter one of 2023. The company also added, and I quote, while our terms of use limit the use of Netflix to household, we recognize this is a change for members who share their account more broadly. So as of right now, Netflix hasn't announced which markets will be getting these strict payment sharing rules, but it is safe to assume that India will be on the list. Android users who use Twitter can now get the blue tick at a price of $11, which is roughly 800 rupees. Now, people who get the blue tick from the web well, they can get it for $8, but since you know that Apple and Google charge a huge commission fee, that's why the $11 fee. Now, the service, the Bluetech service is already live in a host of countries, including the USA, UK, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Japan. So Twitter users in these countries using an Android phone can apply for the blue tick and uh, Twitter will still be reviewing the profile, but the process itself won't be that strict. Now, what happens for the Indian market, for the, for the users in the Indian market, Android phone users? Well, I don't have any update on uh, that thing now. A reliable Twitter leaker is claiming that the pre-booking of the Vivo X90 series will start on January 27th and the global launch itself will happen on February 3rd and he even shared the retail boxes on the web uh, of the X90 and the X90 Pro. Now another report is claiming that uh, Vivo from in the Vivo X90 series, Vivo is not planning to bring the X90 Pro Plus to the global market. Instead, we'll only get to see the X90 and the X90 Pro. Now, as for the pricing of these smartphones, well, uh, the X90 is uh, is tipped to launch at a price of 3,699 uh, Malaysian ringgits, while the X90 Pro Plus could cost 5,299 Malaysian ringgit, and these are like 70,000 rupees and uh, 1 lakh rupees respectively. Also, it is being reported that the X90 and X90 Pro will only come in a lone 12GB RAM plus 256GB storage variant. If you're someone who has been looking for a sub 10,000 rupees budget smartphone, but your priority is a super AMOLED display, then I would suggest you to check out the Moto G42. Now, this phone is currently selling on Reliance Geomart at a price of 9,999 rupees. This is the discounted price, but this is the best deal right now you can get on the G42. This phone comes with a brilliant super AMOLED display, great viewing angles, deep blacks, amazing colors. And you know, the multimedia experience uh, on this phone is great. Plus, you know, the design of the phone itself is really good. And you also get the Snapdragon 680 under the hood, decent performance, stock Android. So overall for 9,999 rupees, the G42 is an excellent deal that you can bag right now from Reliance Geomart. And with that, we have reached the end of this episode. So what are your thoughts on today's video? Let me know everything in the comments below. And as always, for all the latest in tech, stay tuned to Fiber. I'll catch you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.